And uh, we are going to talk with Joshua, who's been waiting a while, and we appreciate you, Joshua. Uh, Joshua, he, him, calling from South Carolina. Does he think, or excuse me, he asks, do we think that an anti-natalist position is a good position to hold? All right, so Joshua, you are on with Tom and Jimmy, and how can we help you today? Hello, Tom. Hello, Jimmy. Uh, hey. I So, yeah, I, I'm an atheist, actually. I want to preface that so it doesn't seem like I'm, uh, you know, accusing anyone of anything, but I feel like I have noticed um, a lot more antinatalism sentiments just generally, and it also kind of seems like they're more prevalent in the atheist community. I was wondering first, uh, am I crazy or have you, do you agree or do you disagree? Have you noticed the same thing or, or not at all? Go ahead, Tom. I, I am. I, I haven't Have you, I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't know a whole lot of open atheists, to be honest with you. Um, you know, in my, in the community that I'm in, I think religion is like something that's pretty taboo to talk about. Um, and, and I don't talk about a lot. Uh, I, I feel like, I mean, I know some atheists that have children. They've adopted two, two, uh, two same sex, uh, married couple, uh, that has children. And, you know, while some people may think, that it's better to not have children or maybe it's not for them. I don't think that that's an indicator of where they stand religiously. I've never actually, I don't think I'm familiar with, I don't think I've ever actually heard the two be tied together. Um, can you shed a little bit more light on what you're talking about, Joshua? Sure. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I wouldn't say, uh, you know, one necessarily indicates the other. I'm mm -hmm. just, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm way off the mark, but I it seems like there's a pattern of, uh, you know, like my much more religious uh, family members have way more kids. Uh, if you think of like the Duggar family, for example, like there's a whole ideology. What, what do they call it? Quiverful that uh, you should just have as many kids as possible. I don't um, I mean, I'm, I'm not criticizing one way or the other. I, I guess I should put that out there. I, you know, if, if, if someone wants kids, they should have them. If they don't, then they shouldn't. Um, yeah, it's but, their right. I uh, mean, that we don't, I don't need to know yeah, what the reason is. I don't, you know, I mean, live your life the way you want to yeah. live it. You know, I guess we're not exactly. as, as atheists. We're not getting the, the go have kids so we can spread the good atheist word. Again, like we're yeah. not that good about being congruent on all the things besides the one, which is not not the God up there, or at least not believing in it. Yeah. I mean, should we have more kids to spread the good atheist word? Uh, hey, we're here right now. You're calling in. This is it, right? It's I have children. Yeah, I have kids. And, and you know, my, my perspective is like I want – my kids to do better than I did. You know, I want them to affect the world positively. Uh, the species is going to carry on. Uh, if I can have a positive impact by giving my children the things that I didn't have, whether it be, you know, stuff or whether it be, uh, you know, an ideology, a, a means of thinking, teaching them how to think and not what to think. Uh, I think that that's a win. I think it's a win for humanity if we could all just get on that page. Uh, and so uh, I felt, yeah, I feel pretty good about having kids and, and I also feel good for people who decide I don't want to bring any children into this world. I can, Hey, I get it, you know, or they just want to travel, mm -hmm. save their money. Cause let me tell you something. Uh, kids will, kids will take some things away from you. It's a sacrifice. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, I'm, I'm all about, uh, you know, live and let live, do your thing uh, as long as you're not harming anyone and don't harm yourself either. But, uh, you know, that's, that's your decision, I guess. Um, Anyway, I, I don't know. What what do you think, Tom? I mean, is, do you think there's some specific thing, Joshua, about, about atheists where we're getting the, hey, knock it off with the kids type of doctrine handed down from anybody or anything? I, I mean, maybe it's just the, uh, I guess, as a reaction to that, uh, the, that other doctrine that, uh, that some religious people seem to be subscribed mm -hmm. to. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? Yeah. 
I think too, maybe, maybe you're, you're noticing a congruency between cohorts of people. You know, if, if you're, I don't know if there's anything to back this up, Jimmy, maybe we're going to get a lot of hate mail, but I would expect that if you're like really investigating the, the, uh, the God question, one of the best methods to do that is science. And if you adopt that for that question, perhaps it makes sense to adopt that for other questions of, you know, what's going on in the world. Cause once you lose God, then it's not like you don't have the, the question still there, right? It's just, that's not the avenue. That's not the way I'm going to go try to answer it. Um, and again, like science can't answer all the questions, but they can answer some questions. And then we're working on other ones. And that's the verb science being used to do that thing. Obviously scientists isn't, you know, it's not the equivalent of a priest in our world here. That's not how it works. Again, spectrum of belief, spectrum of experience, um, and why we have challenges as atheists all coming together on stuff from time to time. Um, but I guess on, on, you know, to do the kids thing, I don't know why, if I think about myself and I think about you, Jimmy, of like why we did actually do that. May, maybe it was the, the stuff that was beaten into us as kids growing up religiously, but I don't think so. I it, it, none of that hit me, but the, Hey, I, I want the opportunity to do better. Um, the, I think there are animal instincts too, of like, you know, the, mm -hmm. the things mm -hmm. involved to get to those kids to begin with. And then what you want to do once they're here, because it's transformational. At least it was for me of like, all right, there was this old uh, Tom, and now there's this new Tom that has these responsibilities and, you know, uh, instincts that were different than before. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I agree. I mean, I, uh, feel, feel the kind of love for my children that I can't equate to anything. Uh, and it is a very human experience to have and me being a human, uh, and wanting to have positive experiences, you know, I think it fits. I didn't think that I would ever get married, got married pretty late in life, met my wife, loved her, love, still love her. I, I, I love my wife, uh, you know, mo and felt something for another human being that I didn't think I'd ever feel, you know, and then we took this journey together. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just been a blast, man. It's been a blast. And, uh, I can, I, you know, I have no, no opinion one way or the other. I think people should just uh, do what they want, but if you want a dad's opinion, man, do I love my kids? So, uh, mm, I think, uh, I think that's what we got for you, Joshua. Um, I really appreciate your call and, uh, you know, make sure you keep listening in, call us back. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thanks for being a viewer.